James, he needs a turnaround in a big way from what we saw in qualifying. Yeah, it's absolutely imperative for Cooper to beat Eli today. <laughs> Gets going a little too fast, Whoa. misses one. That was a hard get off. Boy, has he got some stories to tell tonight. Fortner trying to get inside of Sexton. Gets back by in the third, and Fortner goes right up into him. Aggressive riding by Fortner at the front. Ricky, is he riding too aggressive? Uh, he's doing everything he can. He has do this. It's for the championship. He didn't even think he would be out here racing. And he gets him with the left leg, and that is the bad knee for Austin Fortner, AJ. That right there sends a message to Chase Sexton. A lot of racing to go, and the question is, how long will Fortner be able to deal with the adrenaline to his advantage? Oh, oh that looked like it hurt him. He overjumped that jump. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Fortner, is that it? Can he get through? No, yeah. he's off the track. That is it. Oh, no. Fortner was looking so strong, Ricky. He's pounding on that handlebar. And look at the reaction of Mitch Payton when he saw it. Oh. Austin Fortner looked like just that adrenaline flow, and he was going for the lead. Over jumps the jump across there. The, the single single landed right into the face yes. of the second single there and you see as soon as he did it he pulled up he knew there was just so much force honestly Austin was trying to take me out and it was just I mean you can't really race like that I mean I know it's for a championship but trying to solve for an end off is not cool so this is, feels so good I've been waiting for this for three two years now so I'm pumped on it I'm trying to uh, square oh and look right here gets wow. the inside of Regal <laughs> Gets a twofer on that one. Izzy is fired up, and he is confident. Now, we showed you Nico Izzy riding aggressively. Watch what happens to the 50 here. He had gotten around Kyle Regal on the 36, and Regal paid him back. <laughs> here we go. And Reed does not get the whole shot. They pile into turn one, and Reed will not get the progressive whole shot. All trying to separate themselves. Langston trying to get out of there. Well, Chad Reed can do it if anyone can. I'm telling you, he's going to have to start making some aggressive passes if he wants to get into position to win this championship. Working on Andrews. Oh, contact with him is short. And Reed and Short are both down on the ground. They try to get going. Here goes Langston by, and Reed is down again. Oh, and you talk about aggressive. I think that was total incidental contact. Reed triples to the inside. There's no place for him to go. Andrew Short's right there. They get hooked up. You see both riders get back up. They keep the engines going. And Reed just clips the back of Grant Langston. Tough break for the first night to win. Reed finally get his, gets his bike back going. Well, Dungy's been laying up, playing it safe, but with four to go, Dungy has got to go for it, okay? He cannot wait any longer. He has to do something special here tonight in St. Louis. And Jeff, I would think with all this traffic, it might be to an advantage to be second in line. Hill Villapoto runs him in hard, takes him down. The two leaders go down, and Dungy can't get out. Dungy and Villapoto. Wedged together, where is 
Short. Andrew Short will be coming through. Here he is. And all three get together. Board to board to board. This was all set up by all this lap traffic that did not get out of the way for Dungey. And Filippato just hammers the throttle, takes them both down. I would focus and I would dig as deep as I can to try to... He didn't have to worry about it. Villapoto took himself out. Oh, man. And that's a vicious place to crash. The Asterix medical crew right there. He knows right there. Look at him bail. Oh. Was that move that Villapoto made on you a little too aggressive? Uh, I don't know. You know, I just kind of caught me off guard. I got into a little lappers and... Next thing I know, he's right there and it's full throttle into me. But, you know, I, I hate to win it like that. Like you said, hope he's all right. Send us some prayers to him. And, uh, but yeah, I got to thank everybody and appreciate it all. And right now, Osborne has the fastest lap with a 104 flat, which is quite a bit different. Webb's fast time earlier today was a 102.9. Uh oh, we got some. Oh, Osborne oh. gets right into Savachi, pushes him off the track as they race through the outside section. New leader, and it's Osborne, and he's one of the riders in the title uh -oh. hunt, and he has a problem, and he loses the lead, and a lot more than that, around the berm to the checkers, and a very important heat race win. I was loving where it was going, the consecutive starts, and, uh, you know, hopefully getting in 205, but it just wasn't in the cards. Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty hurt, pretty banged up. We just got to see, you know, we'll, we'll remount whenever we can, you know. These are former teammates. Look at Stewart throw the Bubba scrub on and then really comes in hard on Regal. Stewart's gonna have to get up probably to around third if my math is correct to keep this thing alive for another round. There he comes, he sits Tiny. in ninth and oh, down, down he goes! James Stewart is down! That's gonna wrap up the championship. Stewart is down and crawling off the racetrack. Gurky was involved as well and Stewart is tucked up along a tough block. Oh man, Jeff, that is a big, big impact. 450 Heat One from Nashville, Tennessee. Eli Tomac gets the whole shot, and it's one and two with Cooper Webb in second. Whoa, Cooper's got a little something for him. Yeah, yes, Cooper Webb has to do that. It's go time. Oh, and Cooper Webb goes down, oh. and he gets clipped for the rider. Oh, oh this is not good as Cooper Webb is down and down hard. What yeah. happened? I think he just got too high on the berm, James. And as he was too high, it did a lot oh. like Max Anstey did. Man, nah, that's tough for Cooper. So the Alpine Stars Medical Unit will attend to Cooper Webb, a two-time champion down on the first lap of Heat 1. We're back to racing action. Okay, mind reset. Now, this is a, a, a time where I think if you're Eli Tomac, you have to keep that.